Radical. Viewer discretion is advised. Boogie2988 is still a manipulative liar, but also a crypto scammer who has used CopyZilla. Okay, so tell you all what's going on here. Uh, this may not surprise you, but Boogie2988 is still lying, and now he's scamming people. This may not surprise many of you that have followed him through the years. He's a woe is me, manipulative motherfucker, and what's really bad about this guy compared to a lot of other people that, you know, similar to him online, there's a lot, is he has this whole community of people that somehow believe that he just needs help. It's truly disgusting, his remaining fan base and how far they will go to, just check out his comment section, how far they will go to defend him and take up for him, even though he is truly a grotesque and disgusting individual. And I'm not just talking about how he looks. I mean, look, look at this thumbnail here. Look at what I have crafted for you all. Hopefully none of you throw up over your computer screens or phones. But look at this here. It's nothing but man titties. Those are bigger than most women's. And look at his belly. It just the way they're resting, they look like sacks of <laughs> ew, like sacks of flour just hanging on. Now, what the fuck is going on, man? You would think at some point he would actually succeed on his weight loss journey. You would think. I thought he was losing weight. A couple years ago he was on a journey. He was losing weight. The fucker's got a million million dollars, over a million dollars. I mean he's a millionaire. The guy is rich. At some point, can't you just hire a nutritionalist or some shit? I don't think he wants to lose weight. I don't think he cares to lose weight. I don't even want to go into the weight of Boogie. It's not really the weight that's the most disgusting part of Boogie. Surprisingly, it's not how he looks. It's how manipulative he is. Not just to his own fan base. I just found out that he's started, uh, well, not started a pump and dump crypto scam, but he was paid $5,000 up front and $5,000 on the back end to actually promote a pump and dump crypto scam. I think it was pump dot something. He was even, even, even in the title of it. It was an obvious pump and dump where, you know, you hype something up. He says he's going to break the internet or something like that. He hypes it up, knows he's making money, he's getting paid money to sell out his own remaining fan base on YouTube. Now, this motherfucker has the audacity to think that everyone is so stupid that he didn't know exactly what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He even reached out to CoffeeZilla, and CoffeeZilla did his part to expose Boogie, but you don't really truly understand how a manipulative mastermind works like Boogie, right? So he reached out to CopyZilla supposedly because he was worried about it, worried about what he was was what he was going to do. But he was going to do it anyway. He was going to do what he did anyway because he had already made that decision before he reached out to CopyZilla. What it did was when CopyZilla uh, exposed him, that's just free publicity for him. Let, let me explain something. I, well, I'll explain to you like this. I'll use a perfect example. There was one person who had a role-playing game channel, and I've forgotten so many different people that I used to uh, commentate on or talk about or uh, expose, you might say. And there was one person, I think it was a something role-playing games, I forget what it was, but it was one person who had recently had started a Patreon or who had asked his audience to send him some games or whatnot. And they reached out to me. They talked to me and they said, hey, you know, I'm doing some shady stuff. You might want to cover it or some something like that. Or it wasn't even that them, but it was a account that I'd later link to them. Or somebody said, I don't know. I know what it was. Somebody said, hey, you need to check this channel out. He's a huge, big-time e-beggar. You need to check it out. I went to a channel, and uh, subscriber-wise, it wasn't that huge of a channel, and they didn't get a whole lot of views on their uploads. But I noticed what I was getting was a situation where a person wanted me to, quote, expose them 
because at that time, at that point in time, about every exposing type upload I did got five, 10, 15,000 views. And they were wanting the traffic, even if it was negative or bad or people just going to dislike their upload, they knew what they were doing. They wanted to grow their channel by using part of my audience. So I saw through it after a while, but not before I had a couple uh, uploads exposing them. And then I went to their channel and I noticed that their subscribers and their views had went up a little bit. Well, CoffeeZilla or Voidzilla, which is a separate channel of his, has a pretty big following. And I would say most people would not want to be exposed by someone like CoffeeZilla. But when it comes to Boogie, whose reputation is pretty much shit, it's in the shitter already, he figures, you know what? I have nothing to lose. Fuck all these people on the internet. I'm going to get my interaction. I'm going to get people coming to my channel. I'm going to get exposure. That's the other part of exposing. Some people don't want to be exposed, but to a person that has been overexposed like Boogie, he would like that exposure. So I'm not going to so much to say is CoffeeZilla was fooled or tricked here. Because it's still good that he made his upload, you know, uh, taking Boogie on and everything. It's still ultimately, I think, a good thing because that makes people aware that this person, this YouTuber Boogie, is a scammer. But the way it happened, the way it went down in, in their talk together, and I'll try to link to it at the very end of this, you kind of get a sense that Boogie kind of was playing really stupid and he knew what was going on, but he's still trying to have it both ways. He was trying to have his cake and eat it too. And believe me, this mother can pound down a whole lot of pound cake. He came to the conclusion after CoffeeZilla talked to him, oh, well, I apologize to my audience. I guess that's what happened because he was paid money up front. CoffeeZilla kept telling him, you know, you're being paid money up front. They were expecting a return on their investment. There was over $3 million of trading on that crap coin. And Boogie thinks it was somehow okay. His out was by having a video basically saying, you know, you can lose your ass. You can lose all your money. You can lose the money and be stupid. But when it comes to influencers like Boogie or anyone else that have reached a level of fame, companies will pay for that fame that you have, they will use you to then uh, shovel over your stupid members of your audience, your supporters. So you essentially sell your supporters down the river and then they lose money. You get your money on the front end boogie, but then at the cost of your subscribers losing their money, you see.